beautiful cabin in this stately abode. I, the worrying fly, who are you? The mouse who digs. Let me live in your cabin, too. What can you do? I can mill your flour, chop your wood, tend your hearth, and cook porridge. Living alone is good, but with a partner it's better. Come right in. <laughs> Who lives in this little cabin? In this state, love boat? I, the marine fly, the mouse who digs. And who are you? I'm the croaking frog. Will you let me in your cabin, too? What can you do? Oh, I can fetch water and water your garden. <laughs> it's good living by twos. By threes, it should be better. Come in, you're welcome. <laughs> in this little cabin, in a stately abode. And who are you? <laughs> I'm the bouncing bunny. Let me live in your cabin, too. And what can you do? Oh, I can do anything. Bounce around in the fields, jump over the bushes, leap and hop. If there is no work, of course. <laughs> All right. Three is a good company. But four is better. <laughs> who lives in this little cabin? Who, whose is this stately abode? And who are you? I am the cock with the golden coxcomb. Please let me in. Just what can you do? Why, I can sing at dawn. I can sound your alarm, and I can sing you off to bed. Well then, it's good when there are four, it's still better when there are five. Welcome oh, to our dwelling. in this little cabin. Whose dwelling is this? Hey, who lives in this tiny little house? Have mercy on a poor traveler. Let me in for a little while. And, 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 and who are you? I'm just a clumsy-footed bear. Won't you let me into your cabin? Just for a while. 
would gladly, but our cabin's so small. We simply won't manage to fit you in. We really beg your pardon. Oh, that's all right. I'll manage somehow. I'll lie down anywhere. Try to make this work. I'll manage somehow. Up higher. Uh, plenty of room. And the chimney's warm. Uh. What do you think you're doing up there? Quack, quack. Quack, 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 quack. You're crushing all of us. Quack, 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 quack. So sorry. Really, it's all my fault. All my fault. We'll forgive you if you help us build a new cabin. You managed to wreck it. Now manage to build it. <sighs> This was long, long ago. It was so long ago that there's no mention of it in any chronicle. It happened in the time of King Green Pea. And speak of the devil, here he is. Now you take careful aim at the apple. Well, there you are. In the neighboring kingdom, the entire population were mushrooms. And perhaps that's why it was called the Mushroom Kingdom. The mushroom ruler was old King Boletus the Sixteenth. And he had a daughter, the beautiful Princess Whitey. Oh, poor 
Whitey will never be happy. It was wrong to be born a royal maid. I will have to wed some old mushroom. Some old duke that's worn out and decayed. share both our joys and our woes. I'd rather be fried in sour cream than be wed without love and in throes. Imagine, of all things, Brownie, a deer. He's a clodhopper. I have more worthy mushrooms in my kingdom. Hey, Rainborn! Listen and remember this. Listen all, listen all. His Majesty, the King of all Mushrooms, gives his daughter, the beautiful Whitey, in marriage to the most worthy of mushrooms and her dowry will be half the entire Mushroom Kingdom. Hurry, hurry one and all. Hurry to the palace. A half of the whole kingdom. Listen all, listen all. His Majesty, the King of all Mushrooms, gives his daughter, the beautiful Whitey, in marriage to the most worthy of mushrooms. And her dowry will be half the entire have the Mushroom Kingdom. Will you let me have some rainwater? My grandchildren are not growing. The best natural rainwater only for you. The beautiful Whitey in marriage to the most worthy of mushrooms. And her dowry will be half the entire Mushroom Kingdom. Hurry, hurry one and all. Hurry to the palace. Fellows, do you hear that? A half a kingdom. <laughs> and my job's to fire straight on target. Your eardrums, though it may burst, we are going to win half a kingdom. Diplomatically, of course. I'm a sturdy, healthy brownie. Bear. Sadness wears me out, oh dear me, that's it. A lovely girl I can't forget. I'll never let her out of my life. No, that wasn't right. It wasn't in rhyme. A lovely girl I can't forget, that lovely princess that I met. That's better. I'm not a prince and not a duke, right? But my love is strong, that's true. You bet. Let the world know the truth. I'm a plowman, I'm not crowned. Uh, no, that was a bad rhyme again. I'm a plowman, I'm not crowned. For my work, I am renowned. That sounded better. Well, you're stinking. The girl you love is going to be married off. What? All right, show him in. Hey, Your Majesty, I am the grandest toadstool of all toadstools in the whole wide world. All living things, even flies, die when they look upon on my beauty. I am the most worthy man to marry your daughter. Now show him in. 
Your gracious majesty, allow me to ask your permission to ask the hand of your daughter, to ask her to marry me, since I'm the wisest and the most highly bred subject in your kingdom, in your whole big forest. Won't you graciously, kindly permit me? Oh, what a bore! You want to marry, don't you? In your sheer wisdom, you interpret my words so cleverly, so capably. Why, you speak the truth. And if that's the way you put it, well, then... Hold it. I got you. Show him in now. And so, your gracious majesty, my shop needs care. It needs a woman's eye. And when I come home, I need someone to cook for me and to look after the cash box. Give me your daughter and you won't regret it because I'm the richest of all the mushrooms. What do you want? I want to marry the king's daughter, beautiful Whitey. I love Whitey more than anyone in the world can love her. <laughs> what is? What is? <laughs> what makes you think you can marry a princess? Yeah, huh? why? Yeah. Get out! So you are the grandest of them all. Oh, why, naturally. And you are the wisest, right? If you condescend to ponder, proceeding from the intellectual capabilities of the individuals involved, then... All right, all right. And you are the wealthiest of them all. You can take my word for that. Well, which one of them would you care to choose? Don't be silly. You've been reading fairy tales. It's only in stories that princesses can marry commoners. Things like that don't happen in real mushroom kingdoms. The ruler of all green peas, the mighty Tsar Green Pea, demands the hand of your daughter. Be fair, Whitey. But if you refuse, he will declare war on you and devastate your entire mushroom <laughs> kingdom. What do you mean, demands? What do you mean, war? What do you mean, devastate? Just that. Devastate. He'll dry you up, then he will salt you, and finally, he will marinate you. Ha! Now that's outrageous. I say we have nothing to be afraid of. We have plenty of loyal men to curb that brazen fool and cook him into a, <laughs> a pea soup. <laughs> My beauty will blind him, and he will die a most horrid death. I'll defeat him with my great intellect, uh, intelligent, uh, intelligence. In short, I'll smite him with the might of my brain. And I'll buy him up lock, stock, and barrel. Hear that? Eagles! The man who will defeat Tsar Green Pea will marry my daughter, the beautiful Whitey. It's up to you. Remember, I came here to give you fair warning. Pull up! We are soldiers, we are brave. All of us are heroes. We fear nothing on parades. We fear nothing on parades. Even our worst foes. Up, up, hey, up, one, two. 
We are soldiers, we are brave. All of us are heroes. The mushrooms, they will find their graves. The mushrooms, they will find their graves. When we fight with all our foes. Hop, hop, hey, hop, one, two. Come in. Uh, how do you do? Would you let me assist you? Uh, who would you be? I'm a specialist. I come from the beauty parlor. Oh, you've come just in time. You see, I've been commissioned to smite a certain green pea uh, with my exceptional beauty. Uh, please begin immediately. Some more here, and a little here, and there. There you are. Remove the body and forward. Most honored and esteemed king of the green peas, I must take the situation into consideration. Let me reason. What should I say? How can I get the best of you? You must surely realize that my unparalleled, my unsurpassed intellectual energy is the mightiest weapon there ever was. Oh! If you would be so kind as to do me the great honor of informing me what dynasty you come from and the possible reason for your visit here in order to avoid misunderstanding, quite probable in such situations that may occur in future. Please allow me, my dear sir, to clear up all the doubts that may be troubling you to avoid an undesirable situation that could, so to say, occur that might run counter, unfortunately, to what we might refer to as your position that might appear or even might pour out or perhaps run into, let me say it more explicitly, two times two is four. Hey, you could be loved, generally speaking, sir. On the contrary, like a poor relation there, how do you like that? Oh dear, you win. There you are. Load the cannon. <laughs> Get ready, fire! Get ready and fire! Time to get going. Your gracious majesty, your gracious majesty. The green pea czar has taken Tolstoy, Mashi, and Oaksan, and at this very moment he's approaching your gates. Oh, kind little rainborn, do you happen to know where Brownie is? King, oh king. Look out here, King. Don't be so shy. Too bad you've lost, King. As we say back home, the comedy is over. <laughs> Come on, boys. Get all the guns in place. Much to our regret, we'll have to ruin the palace. And what a palace it was. Beautiful. Oh. Make a direct hit. Wait. Wait a minute. Am I late? And what can I do for you? You've forgotten to fight with me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, fellows. Turn the gun around. Take direct aim at this brownie mushroom. Fire! Farewell, my loyal string bean. 
Ah, oh, Green Bee, you're going to be next. String Bean, looks like we're going to meet up there somewhere soon. <laughs> oh, let's put off our meeting. Forward, let's get Brownie. Princess, honesty is the king's policy. Just think, I could easily have landed in a delicious pea soup. 